Hello and thank you so much for coming back to Arts and Craft Chica. My name is Mirelis and today I have another amazing project for you. We will be creating these concrete garden spheres that you see here. They're also known as globes. However, before we begin, I would like to welcome you into my home and show you a glimpse of previous projects that I have created for you. And if you are interested in creating these yourself, then check out my channel. Okay, so we are going to begin by making the concrete ball. We begin by using an exercise ball of any size that you wish. Cover the ball with plastic wrap, then cover the entire ball with cement tape. Then mix the cement with water into a thick pancake batter consistency. Cover the entire surface of the exercise ball as you see me doing here. Instead of using regular concrete, I'm using cement all, which is great for decorative projects like this. The fine grated sand on cement all gives it a very creamy consistency giving your projects a very smooth finish. It is extremely durable and with very low shrinkage, so it is not prone to crack. After covering the ball with a thick layer of cement, I took a brush, dipped it in water, and lightly brushed the surface to create a very smooth finish. I let it dry overnight. The next day, I flipped it on the other opposite side and began covering it with cement, making sure you leave a small opening as I did here to remove the deflated ball. As you see on this one, I use a different type of concrete tape uh, that I had laying around for my previous project and I didn't like it at all. I felt it was too flimsy and it didn't really stick to the ball. And I will put a link of all the products that I have used in the description below. All right, once you are satisfied with the layering of the cement, you are going to let it dry overnight. And without counting the drying time, these three balls took about three hours to make. And if you are enjoying this content, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's remove the deflated exercise ball and make sure you remove all of the air and we move on to the next one. And just like that, our three concrete balls are finally complete. All right, now let's move on to creating the molds. And I chose air dry clay to make my molds because it was super cheap. I bought 10 pounds of this stuff for $13.99. So choose whatever piece you like to turn into a mold. You are going to press down to create an imprint and capture as much detail as possible. The deeper you press is the deeper that your piece will turn out when it comes time for casting. I suggest you put it outside in the sun and let it dry for a day or two. Now we need to make it waterproof and for that we are using resin and we're going to use equal parts of the stuff that comes in a box and you're gonna mix it in very well and we're gonna brush the entire mold. Please make sure that you get every single nook and cranny of this. After you're done, dry it upside down to make sure that the resin doesn't settle in the corners of the design. Resin is extremely sticky, so please make sure that you elevate your mold when it comes time for drying. And I chose a couple of small rocks that I placed under it just to elevate it enough so it wasn't touching anything. Now we move on to the second mold and we pretty much do the same process. The only difference with this one, I has to use some plastic wrap 
because the clay kept sticking to the wood. Press down as much as possible without breaking the wood piece, capturing as much details as you possibly can. And again, put it outside and let it dry in the sun for a day or two. Okay, now it comes time to make it waterproof and it is the same process as we did before using the resin. You are going to cover this entire piece. Make sure you get every nook and cranny. Flip it on the other side and do the same thing. And with this piece, I chose two wood skewers to keep it elevated. Let it dry for 24 hours. And now comes time to cast our molds. All right, so I let this dry overnight and here it is completely covered and as waterproof as it's going to get so we are going to do it in real time that way you see exactly what's going on all right we're going to take some of plastic wrap and we're going to cut a piece and we're going to dip it in a little bit of concrete of the dry mix to get rid of the stickiness you don't want it to stick to that Just put a little bit of concrete that way it's completely loose giving you as much detail of your piece as possible now we're gonna mix the cement all and I'll show you exactly the consistency that you're looking for okay doesn't take too much water to get this thing going and when you're at this stage sprinkle some water like this with your hand if not you're gonna overdo it and you're gonna have to add more cement you don't want it to be too runny if not if it's too runny it's not going to give you the consistency you need um, for you to get as much of the details on all the little crevices as possible if it's too runny it just the minute you flip it over it starts to just continue to run and you don't want to do that and i'll show you and now you see how it's running no you don't want that so to stop stop it from running like that just sprinkle a little bit of cement and incorporate it until you get the desired consistency almost there starting not to run but it's still running just a little bit and unfortunately you got to move a little fast because this stuff dries very quickly and if it dries too much on you just put some water in your hand and play with it again and you'll be good to go all right so let's see all right, it's not really running as much. I see it's a touch more. And if anything, just give it a second because this stuff dries very quickly and it'll stop running. Okay, see it? It's sitting still, it's not running. All right, so we'll spread it out, try to get in all little crevices and you want to have a little extra that way you can shape it shape the sides all right so that's that take another plastic wrap piece put it over this start pressing flip it over press down to get the corners don't press too much you don't want to break this thing i don't know how strong this material is but so far it has not let me down okay remove the plastic then you're going to take a brush with some water and you're going to remove all of this little bubbles keeping the integrity of the design. Okay, that's good enough. I'm gonna take a brush like this one, 
I'm gonna try to add as much detail as possible following that design that it's already there. And you can get as detailed as you like. But you gotta work a little fast because this stuff begins to dry very quickly. And the reason why I'm doing the quick dry is because I'm gonna make about 30 of this and I don't wanna sit here and wait for it to dry before I move on to the next one. So that's that. We're going to take this and you're going to create more details following the original design. see starting to dry it's fine now we're gonna cut this sides with a big brush and some water. All right, here you go. I'm gonna add a little bit more water and smooth the surface a little more. Now's the time before it completely dries. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. And if you want to bring this detail in a little more so it sticks out, but I think it looks good. Just play with it. And there you have it. It's almost completely dry to where you cannot do anything with it. But we're going to do a few. Some will come better than others, and as you continue doing this, you'll get better and better at it, and the last ones are just going to be almost perfect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place it on the bowl. That way it starts to create that oval shape, that hollow shape. So when it comes time for you to put it on the bowl, it's not sticking out straight, and it is as close to the surface of the bowl as possible. And I did a total of about 35 of these. And because I'm not a machine, they all come out different, uh, different size, and they all look a little different. But in the end, they all look amazing when they are glued together. And out of the same mold, I created two different designs. And I just want to show you a quick glimpse of how I did that. You're going to carve out the outside cement to expose the middle design as you see here super easy to do and clean the sides and add a little extra detail as we did before and voila you got yourself another beautiful design out of the same mold Okay, now comes the most fun part, which is gluing all of your pieces onto the balls. We take a bit of the cement all and you mix in the adhesive to a pancake batter consistency. You're going to wet both surfaces with a brush and you're going to scoop a few tablespoons of this mixture into the back of your piece making sure that it comes in complete contact with 
the cement piece and you place it on the ball. Please be aware that once you put your piece on the ball, it literally takes a minute for this piece to adhere. So as soon as you do that, I want you to clean the surrounding of your piece with a brush and a little bit of water. You want to brush off the excess adhesive uh, because once that adhesive dries, uh, it's very difficult to get off. Okay, so now that we are done and completed with our first concrete ball, before moving on to the second design, I need to go inside and make myself a drink because it is about 108 degrees out here. And i like to introduce you all to this amazing tasty treat that I had in Japan last time I was there. It is a black sesame brown sugar bubble tea. And holy Jesus Christ, this thing is just absolutely incredibly delicious. And I will have the ingredients and instructions on the description in case any of you want to try making it at home yourself. But trust me when I say that your taste buds are going to be blown away by this drink. Okay, now that we have a cool drink in our hands, it is time to move on to our next design. And on this one, we are going to do the flowers. And I slowed the video down enough so once again you have an understanding of the consistency the cement uh, is supposed to be so you can capture as much of the details uh, of your mold. And the same as before, you're going to press down firmly to capture as much of the details as possible. Okay, flip your mold over and clean out the sides, add the details. Don't forget, the more details you add, the more beautiful your piece will look. Okay, so once you are done with the flower, uh, please put it on the ball that you've already created and let it dry on there. What you're trying to do is you want this cast to settle into the form of the surface of the ball. And as you can see, I created about 30 of these and they all look fabulous. And as we did before, you are going to take um, the adhesive and add it to some of the cement into a pancake batter consistency. You're going to scoop a little bit of it in the back of the flour and you're going to glue these beautiful pieces on any which way you want. Make sure you water the ball as well. Um, that way these things don't fall out on you. And once again, they do take about a minute to a minute and a half to completely adhere to the ball. And make sure you clean around the top and the sides of the flower. Uh, you don't want the adhesive concrete to settle and then it's impossible for you to remove. And on my next video, I will be painting these three concrete spheres. Um, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss that video. I'm not sure what design I'm going with, but I'm leaning towards a patina rustic finish uh, using iron, gold, or copper tones. So don't miss the video. Stay tuned for that. I now want to show you how versatile these concrete balls can be when they are displayed around your home. They truly add a touch of elegance, modern and sophisticated look to any space. But thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoy the content and until next time, bye.